my boy from Atrich Vide Kasi. Uh, grew up uh, way back in the 60s, 70s, that's the streets of Atrishville. It was fun, you know, times uh, were different to what they are uh, today. We played a, a lot in the streets. Uh, the so-called street football or Kasi football is where we started. It was life of a young boy then, you know, so uh, very nice. Uh, uh, suburban areas, as they used to call townships, you know, uh, alternatively suburban areas because it was near to Pretoria, the city. Yeah, so it's a lovely, lovely Kasi, peaceful Kasi. Look, football at that time was, 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 you know, our source, our way out was the only thing we knew outside of, you know, your, your normal uh, careers as a teacher, a doctor, nurse, you know, policeman. So sport in terms of football for us black people was one of those avenues where you could have a career and a life. I always say that uh, having, you know, traveled and uh, uh, cross cultures, you know, through football and sport. The interesting thing is uh, take the New Zealands, you know, with the Maoris. They always practice the culture of who they are. The Indians, you know, uh, will always practice uh, uh, who they are. Even Europeans, uh, by the way, you know, within different uh, countries of Europe, the, 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 the cultural essence is never, never uh, 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 neglected. So for us, I think while we try to fit in with uh, the global way of doing things, I think it's very important as well that we acknowledge uh, who we are and what defines us and put it out there. So if a young athlete, you know, wants to showcase who, who he is from whatever cultural background they come from, we tend to look at that as barbaric. We tend to look at that with disrespect. And uh, sometimes we deny even, you know, uh, the, the, the individuals to be who they are, maybe because we don't understand or connect. We are people that likes to put the ball on the ground and play, you know, because street football is always, you know, exposed us to that. Putting the ball on the dusty streets with the two stick uh, bricks and try to play through and uh, score on that. So I think uh, for me, we are an exciting people, you know, inventive, creative society, artistic, you know, and uh, so in terms of the football philosophy, I believe that as South Africans, we are very, we knew only one way of playing, which was having the ball. And when you have the ball, it means you are attacking most of the time, you know? So the global football space has then taught us the other aspect. Not that, you know, defense was not there, it's always been there. Uh, but in those times, it was more exciting. Uh, uh, people were more excited about, you know, offensive players. So I believe that that's the strength of us South Africans, you know. From a national playing philosophy point of view, those elements are born out of exactly that. Our football was known to be artistic through showboating. Now, within the coach education department, you know, of SAFA, uh, work was done to try to uh, come up with ways not to lose that part, but to try to shape it and, and, and let it fit into the uh, modern demands of the game. And the rules of the game, you know, we, which, which also now talks of sportsmanship within the, 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 the FIFA statutes. So it's done to try to, 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 to give people direction to understand that, you know, doing a, sh a shibobo is not necessarily meant for showboating, but it's a skill that is used to achieve a certain tactical objective. So, for example, if one puts the ball through your legs, it's because maybe your legs are open or you come in too tight onto me to try to win the ball back. So if I'm able to come around you and receive the ball and continue the action to create a goal scoring opportunity or even put the ball in the net, that's the whole essence of uh, those individual special skills that uh, were peculiar to South Africans. <laughs>